What is going on, guys? A21 Mayo here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys one tip for each attacker in Rainbow Six Siege. With all of that being said, let's jump right into the video. Place frag grenades on the floor and then sledge the floor open, and then have the grenade fall through the floor, possibly catching a defender off guard. If you ever find yourself playing Thatcher, by the way, pick up the DG skin. You can find it in the esports tab by scrolling all the way to the bottom in the shop. But if you ever find yourself playing Thatcher and you're unsure of an area where there might be an ADS or will my magnet, don't always throw it through the doorway or window willingly. Instead, throw it outside of the window or door sill, possibly disabling the ADS. You can shoot ass charges in front of areas where there are commonly placed shields, so that way you can avoid the ADSs or magnets supporting said shield. If you're ever playing Thermite, place the charge on the floor, avoiding the bandit batteries or cade on the wall. While playing Twitch, don't always drive your Twitch drone into the building shooting default cams. This might notify a defender if they're ever on default cams. While playing Monty, don't always strafe side to side if there's someone behind you. By doing this, it could get you team killed. Instead, try your hardest to walk into a straight line, so that way the person behind you who's playing the gun doesn't accidentally TK. Consider running Suppressor on Glass. The reason for this is because without a Suppressor, your bullet tracers might reveal your position. By attaching a Suppressor, it takes away the bullet tracers. When playing Fuse, don't always worry about killing the enemies with your Cluster Charge. Instead, worry about destroying Bulletproof Utility or burning ADSs or Wamai Magnets. Fuse is a great operator with dealing with Bulletproof Utility, so you should definitely keep this one in mind. When playing Blitz, try your hardest to conceal your body on the left side of a door frame or window, since that is one of the most shown areas on Blitz when he has a shield in front of him. If your team doesn't know where the bomb site is at, you can use IQ Scanner to spot the bomb. This way you don't have to drive your drone all the way through the building trying to find it. We located a bomb. When playing Buck, don't always walk over the holes that you're about to make or you are making currently. This might lead you to being shot in your back as you're making the holes. While playing Blackbeard, never go on upside down rappel as it reveals a part of your head defeating the purpose of his head shield. You can shoot Capitel fire and smoke bolts through bullet holes. If an enemy is ever going to impact trick a hatch that you're trying to open with Hibana, instead of using 4 X Kairos pellets, use 2 so that way you still burn the impacts without wasting 2 extra X Kairos pellets. When playing Jackal, don't scan the first set of footprints you see. Instead, follow them and see where they lead. If they lead off of the bomb site or near a staircase leading to the bomb site, then track them. There's no point in tracking someone who you know is already in the bomb site.
if you really want to play Ying, don't be afraid to ban Jaeger. By forcing the defenders to play Wamai, not only does it burn a magnet with using Ying's Candelas, but the Ying Candela will still detonate blinding anyone in the area. Use Zofia Concussion Mines to roam clear rooms and hallways. Now before we carry on with the video, we would greatly appreciate it over here at the Disrupt Gaming YouTube channel if you guys could consider subscribing or leaving a like. All that support is greatly appreciated. If you ever find yourself with a Dokubi call left and you're trying to go for the plant, use a Dokubi call so that way you force all of the defenders, whether they're living or dead, off of camera so that way they don't know where you're trying to plant. When playing Lion, if your team is ever prepping the bomb site for a plant and you have a line call left, use it while or before your teammate is planting. This way, not only are you masking the sound of the plant, but you're also forcing the defenders in their position. You can use Finca Boost to take away the effects of being concussed by an Elamine or Yokai's. Let's go. If you're ever playing Maverick and you need to destroy some sort of bulletproof utility, like a Malusi in this example, use his blowtorch instead of trying to melee it. By doing this, you are going to have a much longer range than just meleeing it. Place air jobs on the opposite side of wherever you want the defender to be. This way you don't put a defender in cover when they get air jab, setting yourself up and your team for a free kill. When playing Gridlock, try your hardest to throw your track stingers on the platform of staircases. Not only does this provide more surface area for the track stinger to deploy on, but it also makes it much harder for the defenders to shoot all of them on the set of stairs. When playing Amaru, you don't always have to rush. Instead, you can reach areas of the map where it would take longer for a normal attacker to reach, possibly catching a defender off guard. You can use Kali charges similar to Ash charges below Bulletproof Utility to destroy any shields or Maestro cams, avoiding the ADS's or Wilmine magnets. When playing Ayana, press the gadget button twice to deploy and then take away the clone, possibly baiting out a defender. When playing Ace, don't allow the Ace charge to completely destroy the wall. In this example here, you can see an Oregon bunker. They have already reinforced the wall off. If the entire Selma deploys, you are now giving the defenders access to areas of the map that they were once reinforced off of. When playing Zero, you don't always have to use his cams for destroying utility. Instead, you can use it to watch flanks. Now that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We would greatly appreciate it on the DG YouTube channel. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And I will see you guys in the next video.